Hi, hello, welcome back to Needs of Children. So, in this session, we are going to get the information about Mind Standard, Chapter Number Three, History, Religious Promoters, and Social Reformers. So, as in the previous session, we get the information about the two important Acharyas, that is Shankara Acharya and Ramanuja Acharya. In this session, we are going to get the information about Madhva Acharya and Basaveshwara. Let's come to the more information about Madhva Acharya. So Madhva Acharya was born in Pajaka village near Udupi that is in our Karnataka. So his father was Madhva Geha Bhatta. His father name called as Madhva Geha Bhatta. And his mother name called as Vedavati. His mother Vedavati. Lord Vishnu was their family deity. It is said that at a very tender age, at very early age, he displayed abundant knowledge. He had his education in Vedas and Upanishads that is from his guru name called as Achyuta Preksha. His guru name called as Achyuta Preksha. The same teacher later inducted Madhvacharya into Sanyasa while studying under his guru. Madhvacharya so independently, independently gained the great knowledge so about the religious scriptures and then uh, defeated uh, his guru in the debate. So after that he advocated his own philosophy name called as the Dvaita. So as I have given the short forms to easily remember for Shankaracharya like SA and Ramanujacharya like RV. So in the same way to remember Madhvacharya is philosophy that is MD. You can call it as managing director. So very easily. Summative assessment, Ravichandran and MD. Madhvacharya managing director. So Madhvacharya his philosophy name called as Dvaita. It is the philosophy which was advocated by Madhvacharya. Dvaita means that is two according to uh, Madhvacharya Dvaita uh, means it is called as two according to this philosophy the human soul and the divine soul are separate according to the philosophy of Dvaita the human soul and the divine soul are separate in order to propagate his philosophy Madhvacharya took pilgrimage in various places and participated in debates also. He uh, brought the Lord Krishna's idol uh, which was uh, hidden in the deep muddy hillock called uh, Gopi Chandana and installed it in the Udupi. So today what we are going to be worshipping that is Udupi Sri Krishna that's idol which was installed by Madhvacharya. So as further um, to enable the regular worship of Lord Krishna, he established the eight muds called as Asthamatas that is by Madhvacharya. So let's come to the, according to Madhvacharya, what is his philosophy highlights that is Dvaita philosophy. The word is not maya or illusion it is true as paramatma or the divine soul so between these that is paramatma and then um, as uh, divine soul and the word so between this the divine soul is independent and the rest of whole world is illusion the divine soul and the human soul have a lord and servant relationship. He is highlighting that 
the human soul and lord soul that is like a uh, human human soul and divine soul is like a lord and servant relationship so lord vishnu or narayana alone is supreme so worship of lord vishnu can elevate uh, the human soul and thus enable it to attain moksha or mukti so that is the concept which was given by madhvacharya his philosophy dvaita then the works which were written by madhvacharya which are the important works written by madhvacharya among that gita bhashya gita tatparya nirnaya mahabharata tatparya nirnaya vishnu tat uh, vishnu tatparya nirnaya bhagavata tatparya nirnaya so these are the very important uh, uh, books which were written by madhvacharya so among that maya khanda vadana so it is also one of the famous book which was written by madhvacharya so later the philosophy of madhvacharya uh, it was popularized by um, padmanabha tirtha and narahari tirtha and vijayendra tirtha and uh, vadiraja tirtha so these are the uh, other peoples they have been propagated the philosophy of madhvacharyas that is dvaita philosophy so this is very important information about the madhvacharya so till now we are get the information about the three acharyas shankara acharya ramanuja acharya and then madhvacharya so let's come to the social reformer religious promoter basaveshwara let's come to the we are going to get more information about basaveshwara Basaveshwara is the most prominent social reformer of medieval Karnataka. Basaveshwara and his disciples advocated Veera Shaiva philosophy, the philosophy which was advocated by Basaveshwara is called as Veera Shaiva philosophy. So, which was based on simple human values. This. philosophy it is based on simple human values they rejected the numerous deeply rooted in the uh, vedic religion so basaveshwara he was the son of madarasa and mother name called as madalambika his father madarasa and mother name called as madalambika he was born in bagewadi the present of vijayapura so basaveshwara was the uh, strong opponent of caste system and threw away he threw away the uh, sacred thread so which was uh, um, usually uh, takes place during the upanayana so after the thread ceremony he uh, threw away that thread and went to kudara sangama there he took the linga diksha from a uh, shaiva guru and started practicing meditation then after that do basaveshwara became the treasury minister treasury head under the kalachuri bijara so he became the treasury minister we can call it as a financial minister under the kalachuri bijjala uh, the bijjala king uh, he remained unmoved by the money status and power when he was become as a treasury minister he had enough money money power status but even though he led the simple life so he dedicated himself to removal of social evils from the society he remained uh, committed to revival of the society that is uh, 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 centric religion that is social centric religion he concentrated removal of a uh, revival of social centric religion basaveshwara started 
this social religious movement that is from the uh, Mangala Kheda started as a religious and social movement that is from the Mangala Kheda that is placed as Mangala Kheda then uh, Shiva Sharana should never discriminate anyone on the basis of caste and he also said that purity of Atma purity of Atma the only way is to get moksha or mukti. The purity of Atma said by Basaveshwara to get mukti or moksha. So he also advocated that self-reliance and insisted one should earn one's living. So he also declared no profession is more or less important. So he nurtured the culture of work is worship through the uh, physical labor philosophy by declaring body as a temple. That is he nurtured the culture of work is worship through this philosophy by declaring body as the temple. Basaveshwara tried to implement work is worship philosophy in life so these thinkings are still the guidelining lights of guidelining lights of the present society even today also then after basaveshwara started anubhava mantapa the concept of anubhava mantapa that is called as sharana spiritual center Sharana Spiritual Center name called as Anubhava Mantapa at Basava Kalyana, uh, the present located in Bidar district. So here all the Sharana, Sharanas including Basaveshwara and others, they are engaged in meaningful discussions on the various social, cultural issues like gender discrimination, and caste system. Similarly, they were also discussing the shortcomings of religious and were uh, suggesting remedies of these issues. Spiritual, spiritual discussions were also held regularly. They were insisting that one should remain transparent in his life his external behavior and internal thinking should remain clean. This transparent state of life is the ultimate truth they declared. All these thought gained poetic expressions in their vachanas, their major contributions during those days that is the concept of Vachanas, the simple poetic compositions. The Vachanas written in simple Kannada could reach the common people and created a social movement. This movement remained pro people movement due to its simple Kannada. So, as this uh, uh, Anubhava Mantapa, it's made a significant contributions whereas Basaveshwara his thought all humans are equal so as based on this no one is untouchable by birth only profane thoughts and behavior makes one as untouchable so declared the vachanas through uh, vachanas the vachanakaras tried to identify uh, the problems inherent the society of their times during those times so whatever the problems whatever the um, facing the problems by common people they highlighted through the vachanas people from all walks of the life took part in their vachana movement so here allama prabhu Akkamaha Devi, Siddha Rama, Modige Maraya, Ambigara Chaudaya, Madivada Machaya, Madara Channaya, 
Haradaya, Kinnari, Hummaya and many others were the important Vachanakaras. Many Vachanakaras along with Vasaveshwara who had uh, kept information as uh, uh, equal society as their goal have enriched the contributed a lot to society, culture and literature. So this is Vasaveshwara along with many Vachanakaras they have given the major contributions in the field of uh, social as well as little religious contributions. So this is about the uh, session that is Madhvacharya as well as Vasaveshwara. So thank you. Uh, I will come up with uh, next video. So until keep watching my channel. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.